Hi everyone and welcome today to my full handbag collection. We're going to go through every bag fairly quickly from most used over the last two years to least used. And some of the bags I used to use a lot, I haven't really touched. And if you're wondering what this is, this is my mirror that I've covered up because one, it shows you the back of my hair, which just is never good. And also my bags are everywhere. <laughs> so I don't want to, I like to give the illusion that it's slightly tidy. Let's just get straight into it. This is my Chanel tote in the caviar leather with the silver hardware. Since the day I got it, I've never really stopped using it. It's a great all-round bag, and the fact that you can hide all the branding very, very easily makes it usable for work purposes as well. It's just a bucket bag. It's great, it just doesn't wear well. <laughs> it looks like it's had better days, but this year I've started carrying my MacBook in the back pocket, and it does make it look that little bit smarter and keep its shape a bit better, and I do keep a bag shaper in here at all times to try and keep it smart. That's not true. Most of the time I have loads of stuff in here that I've lazily not taken out but I do try and put a bag shaper in it I, I think about doing it what makes these bags really special are all the beautiful tiny little details and this is what I enjoy so if it's your thing as well welcome to the channel that's what we look at here but in today's video in order to keep it of a reasonable and watchable length I'm only giving a very quick overview of the bags that I own and we're not going into that detail but if you want it then I do have lots of in-depth reviews I'll link some of them down below and if there's anything you want me to make do let me know in the comments so as we go along I'm going to pop everything up on my shelves, this was really just an excuse today for me to clean. Right, bag number two. My second most used bag in my whole collection is definitely my Mazarine from Louis Vuitton in the Empreinte leather and it's just a really good bag. It does have a crossbody strap, I've just taken this to Germany with me, I take this on holidays, I took this to buy my Birkin in Paris. It's just a nice size, good all round bag no wear and tear whatsoever. I would highly recommend anything in Empreinte and the hardware looks beautiful. So one of my favorite bags, again, like my tote, I've just never stopped using it. This is the Diorama, unsurprisingly from Dior. And this leather is called the Micro Canage because it has the canage pattern, but in a very, very tiny version that looks metallic. And I bought this bag, it was my first ever Dior purchase a few years ago. And I thought, oh, it's a little bit out there, but I really like the style and it's seasonal. And I'm so glad I bought it. It's really hard wearing, I take this out all the time. I love the chain. I've always referred to this as being Dior's answer to the Chanel boy bag, but it's much more hard wearing. And I think it's a little bit more understated. But unlike the boy bag, it doesn't hold its value at all. And this bag is currently for sale in the outlet, which is a little bit depressing. Again, one of my favorite bags I've ever bought and still a bag that I continue to use loads. I'm definitely sensing that I use my darker bags more because this is the next one that I've used loads over the past year or two. And it is at my Chanel Gabrielle in the new medium size. And I went for the one with the addition of this beautiful strap. I really love the chain detailing. I don't tend to go for things with brand names written in, in a big size, but it's detachable. And I probably wear it 90% of the time without this strap, which costs an extra thousand pound. But when I do wear it with the strap, it feels really fancy, it feels really nice, and I think it looks really cute. My favorite thing about this bag, are the chain straps and they've got all the different hardwares in there. That's the main reason I haven't bought the Chanel 19 bag. I think it's beautiful, but I don't think I love the strap. Whereas if they came out with one with multiple thinner straps, I think I would absolutely love it. There's something very nice about carrying this bag. It feels lovely. It fits nicely against my body and it looks really dressy because of the chains. So the fact that you have this little handle on this one means that you can leave the chains dangling down, which I think looks really cute. Or you can do all kinds of different twisty things, make it a crossbody, long shoulder, whatever you fancy. I tend to carry it crossbody and long shoulder and I'll just whip the chains around to whatever length I want, which is great because if you're in a coat one day that's really bulky with a scarf and everything else, you can make this a long crossbody. If you're in a much lighter outfit or you're not wearing a coat and you just want it to be a shorter crossbody, you can adjust the strap in so many different ways. It's a really good bag, but I fully appreciate that a lot of people don't like the shape. I didn't particularly love it when it came out, but it's grown on me and it's a bag that I'm so glad I bought and I would quite like a Tweedy one. I kind of want to lie about my next one and pretend I like a bit of colour, but I don't. I just love black bags, it would seem. And my next bag is my large Lady Dior in the black. It is so beautiful. I love this bag. This was the bag that as soon as lockdowns got lifted, I took it out because I wanted to feel fancy, but I also wanted to carry stuff. There's something about the canage pattern from Dior that is a more intricate quilting that 
just feels really lovely and that I'm just very drawn to. And that with the charm and with the very cute top handles, this is adorable. It feels really special. And that's one of the things about luxury bags that I think people can overlook, particularly when their collections get bigger. You just start buying things for random reasons, but if it doesn't feel super magical and special, it's not worth buying. It does come with a crossbody strap, but I don't think it looks particularly good as a crossbody, mainly because of the sheer size of it, but it's great as a long shoulder bag. And um, you can put a lot of stuff in this. You can get it to a fair weight. So having that long shoulder option is a really great a little addition to the bag, but I just think it's beautiful. And yet the size makes it infinitely more practical. So this is my Coco handle in the navy blue caviar, and it is such a lovely bag to use. I love the top handle, I love the strap. It took me a long time to buy a Coco handle because I preferred the trendy, even though I use this so much more, but I didn't used to like the matte hardwares that came on it, and I love that they now do them with the shiny hardware. The fact that it's navy blue means I pick it up all the time. The fact that it's in this kind of medium size, which is just a good all round size, means again, I pick it up a lot. But sometimes in this style of bag, this size is a little bit bulky. I much prefer the look. I think this is adorable. This is the smaller size cocoa handle that I have in the beige chevron caviar leather. I don't pick this one up anywhere near as much as I pick up this. This still has the strap removed from when I went to Tenerife back in October. So I'll pop that on later. But <laughs> I don't use this as much, but I think it is a cuter size. This one is a better day in, day out. Use it, it's a very practical size. But um, yeah, those are my cocoa handles. This would have been later on in the video as a not very used bag, but just came up now. Another bag that I use a lot is my Palace Clutch from Louis Vuitton. Again, a purchase I made several years ago, five years ago I think now, and it's got the little chain to wear over your shoulder or to detach here and make into a wristlet. Does anyone ever use an actual wristlet? <laughs> is one of my questions. But yes, it has this lovely treated leather strap that comes with it. And the strap on this is really nice because it's not the typical leather that you get with the Demia Ben pieces, which is quite sharp and crispy. This is really soft and really comfortable and it's slightly lighter in color, but this is one of my go-to bags. I put it with everything. It's just very handy and very easy to wear. And again, one that I picked up on the day that I bought it and I've never really stopped using it. So a really great bag, um, but it is starting to wear on the corners. I mean, it's taken five years, but it's starting to wear on the corners. So I think this may not see out the next five years. We'll see. And again, we have another black bag. At least I am consistent. This again is in the Empreinte from Louis Vuitton. It's the Montaigne BB beautiful gold hardware. I love this bag because it's so easy to pick up and use. And by that, I mean you throw your stuff in and you go. The only big negative is that I do tend to put my bag on my passenger seat in my car. And if you brake hard or sometimes you don't even need to brake hard, it sometimes rolls over and all your stuff pours out. The inside structure of the bag is that you have these two open pockets, which are great for just throwing your stuff in, not so great for pickpocketing, but you then do have this safe compartment in the middle, which is quite difficult to access on the go. So you do tend to need to put it down to open this up, though you can attempt to get in with it not put down, but the zip is quite stiff, which I actually quite like. I think it makes it secure, but it also means I'm quite lazy sometimes and want to just put my purse and valuables in the outside pockets, which is obviously not the best idea. I really haven't used any color, I don't think, over the last few years. One of the only bags in my collection, not from the usual brands, is my Strathbury tote in burgundy in the large size. And I love this bag. Again, I use this loads for work. I can get my lunch, a pair of shoes, a jacket, whatever it might be, in here, and my 15 inch MacBook Pro, which is quite impressive. The only thing with this bag is because it only has one handle, you can overload it. It does come with a crossbody strap and it's better to carry this crossbody than say my Lady Dior. But in general, it's just a really great work bag. And this has been abused. I used to use this in A&E and it's been run over by various different contraptions at different times, which is why I don't take my fancy, well, this is a fancy bag, but my even more expensive ones to A&E because you've nowhere safe to keep your stuff. So yeah, I really love this bag. I would highly recommend. It is very durable and I think the colors are lovely and the shape is very understated and nice. This next bag is a bag that I don't necessarily love as much as some of the others, but it's so practical and I really enjoy it. The reason that I say that is that the Pochette Matisse that I have here in Monogram 
It's one of those bags that I got caught up in the hype about and I just couldn't get hold of. And then I went to Paris to buy my Birkin, uh, which will be coming up soon, I do assure you. I went to Paris to buy my Birkin, didn't think I'd get one. And it was so easy to get one of these in Paris that I bought it. And since I bought it, again, one of those bags that I use over and over again because it's a practical size and shape. I do wish I'd gone for it in the Emperor because I think it would wear better than this one. And also I just particularly love the Emperor bags. But still, for a monogram bag, it comes with beautiful hardware. It lies very comfortably as a crossbody. You can fit a ton in here and it is a joy to use. It's an enjoyable bag to actually take out with you. The reason I say I don't love it is it's not my typical style. Satchel isn't something that I tend to go for, but I did want something with the lock <laughs> from Louis Vuitton. So I do enjoy it. It's just not the same sort of love as some of my other bags, but Sometimes it is. <laughs> it's a really good bag. I will never sell this. It will probably get destroyed and wear out before I ever. Next we have my Gabrielle backpack. This was the Gabrielle bag that I initially set out to get. It wasn't the hobo that I wanted first of all. It was this one and yet it's my lesser used of the two bags. I think the shape of this is uber adorable. I do tend to carry it in my hand rather than as a backpack but I love that I can throw this on with a hoodie and I feel kind of fancy. <laughs> so it's a really nice bag to use again it's a nice tactile one with the chains that just feels really nice and I love the sound that it makes when I open and close it and I love that it's just an open bucket inside with that beautiful red lining so it's really cute not my most used of most used bags but a bag that I definitely reach for often and yeah I think it's a really nice little bag Okay, so this is the point of awkwardness now where we go to the bags that I haven't really used very much over the last few years, which are the majority, I think. I usually enjoy swapping out, changing my outfits up and various different reasons over the last year. I've eaten more and just gone out less and seen fewer people. I haven't made as much effort and I've just stuck to comfy stuff most of the time. So a lot of my beautiful things, which I've previously told you I use loads, I really haven't touched. Now, I'd love to just say I use all my stuff all the time and avoid the criticism, which I'm sure I'm going to get here, but I know I will use this stuff again. So it's not wasteful. I will start picking it up and that's why I'm not selling it. This is not a kind of precursor to a vlog sale. Let's just crack on and start off with my mini Lady Dior in the Lotus Pearly Canage Lambskin. This is one of my favorite bags in my whole collection and I used to use it loads. <laughs> Any excuse to get dressed up or go anywhere, I would take this with me because it's adorable and it fits everything that I need. The problem is we don't really go out much in an evening now and the one occasion that we've been out recently, I'll show you which bag I used then because this one just wasn't as appropriate, but this is one of the casualties for me of the last few years and I do hope I get to using it more again soon because it is one of my favourite bags. This is my business affinity from Chanel in the pink caviar and this is probably the most surprising bag to me that I haven't really picked up much over the last two years. Again, I think it's because I haven't really got that dressed up <laughs> when we go out. It's so rare to go anywhere that you actually put that much effort into <laughs> that this was one of the bags I used to wear when I felt dressed up or felt really nice or was in dress and heels and I haven't really done that at all for a very long time. So whilst this might have been picked up once or twice this used to be a regular bag that I took out and just at the moment I'm not reaching for it as much. Since I bought it, it always falls over whenever you try and stand it up, that hasn't changed. It still doesn't have any colour transfer on it and I still think it's beautiful and again one of my favourite bags, but just not a bag that I've naturally reached for. This is my Petit Mal from Louis Vuitton in the canvas and I've got it with this black pattern painted over the top which is two caterpillars on the back, but on the front it's really quite cute. I like the way that it ties into the black leather. It's an impractically small bag, but it's wonderful to take to a restaurant because you can pop it on the table in front of you and you can look at it when you're bored. I like to take it out for meals because it's just handy to be able to keep your bag on you and keep it in front of you. And it looks beautiful on a table. <laughs> I took this out two years ago for our NCT Mums Christmas party and I took it out again last week for our NCT Mums Christmas party. And I have taken it to other events before <laughs> the one two years ago, but I haven't really picked this up for the two years in between. Such a shame because this is a great night out bag. You can't get much in here, so don't think a purse. Take your card out, take your key out a key holder. That's all you're getting in here. It's not great, but it's nice to keep your valuables on the table in front of you when you're in a restaurant. Next up, we have my Birkin from Hermes. This is a size 35 Togo Noir 
Palladium Hardware Birkin that I got from Paris and it's lovely, I just haven't really used it and there's not really a lot more to that story, I've just, whenever I've gone for a big black bag, I've gone for my Lady Deal. And you know you've not used it much when the dust comes off the bottom of it. Slightly surprising that this is so far up my list in used bags, but this is my Speedy B30 in the Demi Air Ben, one of the first bags I ever bought. The hardware's knackered, the canvas is cracked, it looks a little bit worn out, but sometimes I need a worn out bag. Sometimes I've also taken this out with Henry to the park where I want something that can really take some mud and then wipe it off. So it's a good usable bag, uh, but mine is just a little bit worn out, which is why I don't reach for it more. This probably should have been higher up the list because whilst I haven't picked it up in the last few months, prior to that I did pick it up quite a bit. This is the My Lady Dior or the Small Lady Dior. You have the mini, you have the medium, this is the size in between. You know it because it comes with the strap with the little charms on and previously the last incarnation of the My Lady Dior had the little stud charms. So this is a really cute, nice size. I think it's adorable. I've got it in the denim blue here, but I would also like this in a grey. I think the grey is gorgeous and the pink so much. I want every My Lady Dior and Mini Lady Dior and large. It's probably just the medium I wouldn't go for more in. And this has the kind of femininity but with the more modern colour. So I tend to wear this a lot with navy blue coats and my Dior oblique scarf. You can see they go well. So I really love this. I've put it too far down the list though. It definitely should have been at the end of my most used bags because I wore this so much last year. It's just this year I haven't reached for it as much. One of the first bags that I ever bought, this is my GM Neverfull from Louis Vuitton in the monogram with the beautiful Pivoni I want to say lining and I got it when they first came out with the additional pouch as well. This is a bag I usually use a lot because it's so practical as a kind of I call it an overflow bag so when you have your really cute little handbag but you need loads of extra things so I put them all in here so overflow or extras bag so shoes, change of clothes, extra coat, if you're going and taking lunch, if you're taking drinks anything that you kind of don't necessarily need to carry around with you all the time but you need to take somewhere. This is the bag that I usually use or I sometimes use it as a gym bag or for shoes or whatnot. I just haven't really done any of that stuff this year so yeah that's why I haven't picked this up. This is the other bag that I use for the same purpose for all those extra bits and bobs and it is the book tote from Chanel I was gonna say from Dior. This again was a bag that I used to use an awful lot and now I'm not reaching for very often but I'm sure I will because I love using this and look at how beautiful the structure is still. I do keep a Samorga bag organizer inside and I keep it on top of my shelves back here but I'm hoping I get to use this more again. I love seeing these as well at Sainsbury's. Sainsbury's and Marks and Spencer's you see quite a lot of people using these as their bag for life and that is the level of bougie that I aspire to one day but at this moment in time I would cry if anything leaked inside this so not something that I personally do but it is a really nice bag. This is my Chanel Trendy in the light gold hardware with the lambskin beautiful black leather. It's a little bit dusty because I haven't taken this out in the longest time. I can recall over the last two years two occasions where I've taken this out and the whole time that I've had it. Again I don't regret owning it because I will use it loads and it is a joy to use and you can fit so much stuff in there but it's just one that over the last year or so I haven't really reached for. This is my Dior Ever bag again obviously from Dior and another one of these with the little shield logo. I love how subtle this is for a designer bag and I love that despite it being a tote you have the option to make it really secure. You can take this flap back and then inside you have a nice big pocket and you even have a pocket at the back here and you can change the shape and look of the bag by playing around with the buttons. It comes with a crossbody strap and it's just a really nice bag to use and this is sadly in the outlets if you're interested. So is the Dior Armour that I showed you earlier. They're both beautiful bags. This I usually use a lot over the summer months but I just haven't been doing all the things that I usually do. There's something very wrong when this bag is higher up than anything else in my collection but this is the Senrev Midi Maestro that was gifted to me a few years ago after which point Senrev have never spoken to me again because I was quite honest about how I feel about it. I don't really like the tongue in the middle, I don't particularly like the style but I wanted to get a bag to do a review of the quality. So quality is very good, it's a very nice bag. The reason that it's so high up in my list is again this is a great bag for work because it's sometimes good to have a bag that you can take with you that you don't worry about getting stolen or that you don't think is as appealing to thieves. <laughs> so when I work in a &E, some of the A&E's I've worked out you do have a locker, some of them you don't, you just kind of have your bag around your feet while you're working. 
that's weird, the actual stud was coming off, okay. So this bag is really great for working in A&E because again, you can get a drink, you can get your lunch in there. I do have the stain, which is why I didn't gift this. And I am going to do a video very soon about alternative brands and give more details, but it's not a bag I love. It's not a bag that I would ever have purchased myself because I don't like the way it looks. This is my Givenchy Antigona in the goat skin in this beautiful purple color that just sold out everywhere and it is a little bit dusty. This is a great bag for over winter. I wear it with a purple Karen Millen coat that I have, my purple Burberry scarf, and I love the matchiness of it all, but we haven't got to that stage of winter, I don't think yet, so I probably will pick this up over the next few weeks, but I just haven't really seemed to use it that much over the last year or so. This is my Capucines from Louis Vuitton in the PM size and the Galley colour. One of my favourite bags to look at and one of my least used bags ever. That's not just over the last two years. I've hardly used it since I bought it. And that's because of how I've been dressing, I guess, because I used to have quite a lot of very fancy dresses that just don't fit me at the moment. And once I'm in those, I'll probably wear this more. And I felt that more so over the last few weeks, because if you watch Selling Sunset or the first episode of the new Sex and the City, how many capucines does Charlotte wear in one episode? I feel like Louis Vuitton are pushing this bag really quite hard and I don't think they really need to. I think it is really beautiful. It's just I need to use mine more. Okay, we're really in I just haven't touched it territory now. We are heading towards the end now. This is my Lady Dior in the pearlescent grey. It's so beautiful. My first Lady Dior I ever bought and it has the original zip feature at the top. I just haven't reached for it. I have no good reason. I can tell I've ordered these right because these ones now are quite dusty. Here we have the Chanel Jumbo in the black caviar leather with silver hardware. The first big handbag purchase after two Mulberries that I ever made. Oh, I should really show you one of the Mulberries today. I'll insert it now. I've sold one of them, but this was the other one. This is the Mulberry Hobo. I have tried to get this fixed. We'll talk about this another day, but this is a really great bag. I really love it. It's just too knackered to wear at the moment. Coming back though to the Chanel flap, this is the jumbo size and I love it. I think it's a beautiful bag. I used to use it loads, but it's sometimes a little bit big for an evening. It's a great size for during the day, but I think I just have so many other black bags now. <laughs> so that's why I don't reach for it. Again, one of my earliest purchases, this is the Prada Saffiano Lux Tote in the Argyll or Grey with the gold hardware, which you can see is looking a little bit worn now over time. I also just took out the cushion and inside there is a big stain in the bottom or two, which I don't know what those are from, but that's so sad. So this is a bag that's seen better days. Again, a bag that I used to use a lot for work because you just turn it around and it's a plain bag. And it has lost its shape a bit over time, which is why I usually have it stuffed with one of my bag puffs, which were gifted to me very kindly from Bag Puff. Since I've used the Bag Puff, I do think it hasn't worsened any quicker, but it is still in pretty bad nick. There's not a lot you can do about that. If you don't have Bag Puffs, you can just use rolled up clothes to put inside, or you can use pillows, whatever it might be. You don't need something special. It's just, I'm obsessive. I like to keep my stuff neat, and that's why I have Bag Puffs. But there's loads of different ways you can shape your bags, put shapers inside. Um, but yeah, such a shame because this was one of my favourite bags for a very long time and I still love the colour. This is the dustiest bag of the lot. <laughs> I am absolutely covered in dust from this bag now. This is my Alma PM in the Verney leather in the Amaranth colour, which looks purple in some lights, black in other lights, and just plain dusty at the moment. And then we have my Alma BB in the Demia Ben. This bag I don't use very much, but I think I'll use it more as my palace clutch wears down. And the Alma PM, I actually think is a really cute bag and looks again really nice with my purple Karen Millen coat. It's just so dusty. I'm just going to hold it here to cover up the dust. This is my wallet on chain from Chanel that Mark bought me on our wedding day as a surprise. It is so beautiful. It's the camellia pattern. It's in lambskin with silver hardware. And the nice thing with the wax is that one, the lining on this is beautiful. As you can see, it's still got the black cards in from when I got it. And the chains are very delicate and very pretty. This is a beautiful little bag and I just, I use it every year on our wedding anniversary, though this year we were in Germany on our wedding anniversary, so I didn't use it since last year, but I'm just so precious about it. I kind of want it in a glass box to look at just because it was such a special gift. And I think it's really beautiful. And I'm so nervous of the lambskin. Mark just says use it, but I love it. This is the Long Wallet from Dior. It was part of the Dior Armour range and it comes with the most amazing, really heavy long chain. Again, this is a, a bag that I tend to use for weddings and events because it's really nice and easy to use and it is very 
hard wearing so I wear this when I wouldn't want to take something as delicate as my Lady Dior and it's just easy. It's a nice piece but we haven't been anywhere. Then my least used bag overall of the last two years has got to be my Neverfull MM in the Demi Azure with the gorgeous pink lining, that's the Rose Ballerine. I just haven't picked it up mainly because I keep it in the dust bag. It's the only bag that I keep in the dust bag to try and keep the patina nice and light but it's not really working. As you can tell it's darkening over time anyway so maybe I should just keep it out. I just really like the light patina on the Demia Azure pieces but I just haven't reached for this for the same reason I haven't reached for the other Neverfull but even less because I'd have to take it out of the dust bag. <laughs> That's why I keep my bags like this because I reach for them and I go for different ones I need to reorder them so all the bags this year that I've said I haven't used very much I'm going to put on the top shelf and over that side so I grab it as I go out the door. It does make a really big difference because as much as sometimes and particularly in the past I used to spend a lot of time picking my outfit at the moment it's often grab and go or get Henry ready come and grab something and get out the door so having bags in a convenient spot does make a big difference. Anyway that is it for today's video I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you guys very soon in my next one. Bye.